It's time, 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 time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Yes, and I know we're going to have a larger conversation about this next week when Vanessa Satin, who's the editor-in-chief of XXL, comes up. But that freshman list is out now. Let's see what y'all think. 4-2 Doug. Yes, Flo absolutely. Millie. Yes, Flo absolutely. Millie. Yep. Moray. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, hell yeah. Pusha Icy. Of course. Lakia. I don't know who that is. She's from Milwaukee. Uh, Coy Ray. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Tusi. Yes. Yes. Blast. I don't know Blast. I don't know Blast. I mean, I know South I'm familiar Central with LA. these names. I haven't listened to. It. I'm familiar with the name or the Lakeith and uh, um, Lakia? Blast, Lakia and Blast, but I haven't listened to their music yet. Mm-hmm. Ruby Rose. Haven't listened mm-hmm. to Ruby yet. Ian Dior and DDG. Yes, DDG. Yes. Listen, you DDG know, was actually the um, fan voted freshman tenth spot winner. I always feel like I'm in the know. When I know some of the rappers on the Double XL cover, okay, some of them, <laughs> some of them. I mean, I, I listen to Forty Two Doug real heavy. I listen to Moray heavy. Forty Two Doug. Y'all, mm-hmm. y'all know I love Pooh Shiesty, Tusi, um, Flo Millie. I love that record. Uh, if I was a rich girl, I, that record should have popped off uh, real crazy, by the way. But no, yes, the, very deserving. Yeah, I wonder right, what happened with uh, Erica Banks and uh, CJ. Mm. BRS Cash too. Yeah, well, we're going to talk to Vanessa about that next week. We'll get into a larger conversation because okay. I know people want to hear and have their own things they want to weigh in on. Mm-hmm. All right, now, since it talked about Pooh Shiesty being on that freshman double XL list, uh, it looks like he is now having even more issues. He has to remain in prison. The security guard did recant his story, so people thought that was a slam dunk. He'll be able to come home. He said he was on a painkiller and didn't know who shot him, but a judge is questioning why that security is taking back his statement. The judge says the security story was recorded, and on the recording, he sounded very lucid, clear, and gave very clear and descriptive answers. The judge and the prosecutor said, mm-hmm. per the publication, if I'm reading between the lines, I assume what you're trying to tell me is that there may have been some pressure exerted upon this witness to change their testimony. So he does have some other legal issues too. A 2020 shooting where he was charged with armed robbery, aggravated assault with a firearm and theft, reportedly over a drug deal gone wrong and he's facing a federal charge over that situation. Man, what they saying at the precinct, Envy? What is it looking like for our guy Pooh I don't know. Oh. Are you asking me? <laughs> All right, now, Trey the Truth has teamed up with James Harden to announce the Trey Day scholarships. Ten lucky students are going to get financial assistance for their education. So that's really dope. We want to salute to them uh, for Trey Day weekend. That's really dope because, you know, higher education is really expensive. So now 10 students are going to get those scholarships. Dropping a cool bomb for Trey the Truth, man. Trey the Truth is always doing good in the hood. Always. Yeah, even when people weren't really recognizing it, he's been making these moves. That's right. It's authentic. All right, Tina knows Lawson has revealed that Beyonce and Solange have always celebrated Juneteenth. They have a new partnership with Facebook to honor Juneteenth through special programming and initiatives. And she made an appearance on CBS this morning, and she said that she was surprised that in other places that people didn't even really know about it. She said she grew up celebrating Juneteenth. There was a day that she went to the beach. A lot of people didn't realize Galveston, Texas is an island and everything is centered around the beach. When I got older, she said I was able to go to Houston to Emancipation Park, and they have a big, beautiful parade there. We've always celebrated. It's always been a very important holiday. So she said when she moved to Cali, She was surprised to find out that it wasn't widely celebrated. Also, the Hollywood Walk of Fame has introduced their class of 2022. Now, Envy, you have the rundown? Yeah, Michael B. Jordan, Regina King, Tessa Thompson, uh, Byron Allen, uh, Holly Robinson Pete, uh, Black Eyed Peas, George Clinton Jr., Ashanti, DJ Khaled, Avril Lavigne, and Nipsey Hussle. uh, Also, Michael Strahan. All right. Well, that's pretty huge. That's a nice class. Yeah, this year. I saw some Hayek's on the list Mm -hmm. uh, as well. Yeah, that's pretty dope. So congratulations to everybody that made it to the 2022 Hollywood Walk of Fame. I'm Angela Yee, and that's your Rumor Report. 